Hi my beautiful family and welcome to another of my videos. If you're new, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. But today I'm excited. I always say I'm excited, but today I'm actually excited because today is my birthday, to September the 12th. And I have some new stuff in front of me that I got from my birthday and I can't wait to play with them. There are some products that I bought for myself, some products that I got, but also some old products that I really, really enjoy using. So today it's going to be my birthday makeup look. We are going to go to my sister and celebrate. And I'm very excited to use this product. So if you want to see what makeup look I'm going to create and spend some time with me, then please keep on watching. Okay, I know I need to fix my eyebrows, guys. <laughs> Don't look. We all pretend like everything is perfect. Okay, so first of all, I want to start with the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. And I have so little left. This, I, this one I got from my sister last year for my birthday. Yeah, and I do have plenty of primers, but I really was taking uh, this sometimes because I don't want to use it up because this is one of the best primers ever. And I really enjoy this primer. It's really gripping the foundation, makes my foundation last a long time and I really, really enjoy it. I also like the Tarte. This one is Timeless Smoothing Primer and I've used a lot of it and I still have plenty left, which is kind of good because this one is this one is expensive, but I want to kind of make my pores less visible because I do have huge pores here. You can see this is so nice on the skin. Okay, I am going to take this Becca. This is Becca Primer, under eye primer, anti, under eye primer, yes, from Becca. And I got this from my friend Valerie in a box swap that we did this month, September, and I really, really love this. First of all, I, th I was very excited to get this because this was on my wish list, and this really keeps my concealer on pl in place. Doesn't make my under eye look dry. It actually helps my under eyes look more healthy or brighter. I don't know if you can see the difference. And it makes my concealer also more smooth and it doesn't set into my fine lines and I do have plenty of fine lines under my eyes. I don't know if you can see the difference but this is so nice. It doesn't feel anything on the eyes. It doesn't feel like I have anything on but it really helps. Love that. Okay so for the eye shadow primer I am going to use the one that I always can lie on and it's hmm, somewhere here. <laughs> here it is, Wet n Wild. This is something, if you have very oily eyelids, I think you're going to like this. And I, it's, some, it's a very similar to Urban Decay. It actually makes my under, uh, my under eyes, no. It actually makes my eyeshadow stay on the whole day for 10, 11 hours. 12, even more longer, sometimes 16 hours, and it's doing the same thing as the Urban Decay. So I do like both of them, but this is more affordable than the Urban Decay one. I'm going to actually I'm going to set this because I always set my eyeshadow primers, and I'm going to go Urban Glow finishing pal finishing. Uh, powder from my sister I got an eyeshadow palette um, for present and it's this ABH Norina palette I think this is number four volume four and it was something I wished for and I'm so happy to have it here because this one is such a beautiful palette and it's not well, there goes the plastic, too bulky. They ha it has a nice mirror, so let me just switch it. Look at these shades. 
I uh, actually swatched the pressed, pressed glitters and they look very nice. So I am going to use this on my eyes today and I really love the mirror, really love the mirror. It, this is also very nice to hold, the only thing is you can't really flick it all the way down but it doesn't matter because if you have it in front of you, you can still see yourself. So I am going to create something with this. I also got uh, this collection too from Tarte. There is an eyeshadow palette in here too. Some other goody stuff, but an eyeshadow palette. We, look how beautiful this one is. I love this. And look how cute. But I'm going to play with this at some other time. But I really like the packaging. I am going to go in C4, this purple shade. And I'm going to build that in the crease. Kind of build it arm up and press it. Oh, look at this pigmentation. This is my first Norwina palette of this kind. I know there are four out. And I like this one and number three looks also very nice. Number three looks also very um, fall, fall looking, you know, for the fall. I am going to go in with E1 and try to kind of connect them here. Just slightly blend. Ooh, these are very pigmented, guys. Very, very pigmented. And they blend nice together. Build up C4 again, the purple one. With the same brush, I'm going to go into E4 and go right into the crease. Deep it up a little bit. This is a fluffier brush, it's not too dense. They blend very nice into each other. And I'm going to use my finger and go into uh, A2, this shade here, which is such a beautiful blue pink shade. I don't know if you can see how stunning it looks. And I'm going to, oh wow, oh wow, this, oh my god, this is such a beautiful shade. I'm going to take this 238 from Lux brush, really small one. And I am going to take the C1 shade, this shade here. And try to put some here. Oh, that's pretty. I'm just in love with this shade that I have all over my lid. I'm in love with it. I'm going to take this eyeshadow brush. I don't know what kind of brush that is, but I'm going to go back into E4, the darker one that we had in the crease and kind of, you know, deep up the crease a little bit more. Just to bring the shape back again. And at the end here. I think this is very easy, beautiful makeup look. It's going to look much better when I finish it, but I am going to go into the foundation. For the foundation today, I am going to try the healthy foundation from um, Physicians Formula. And I heard so many good stuff about this foundation. Now this finally arrived to Sweden. We didn't have this before, so I am very happy to try it out. I actually bought the shade number LN3, light neutral 3, and if you can see the number of the shade here, there you go. And I don't know if it's going to match me. I don't actually care because often foundations don't match me and I always make it work, so I don't really care but I'm going to use this and I'm going to use for the first time this sponge. This is the Brushworks HD Wonder Complexion Sponge um, latex free material 
it, it feels very dense. It's very, it's not as soft as the Beauty Blender, but maybe it's good i don't know i had to throw away the ones that i had because they were getting very old now this has a Dolph applicator this foundation and i know many people say you know bacterials and everything but you use the concealer the same way or so way so i'm cleaning my face every time so hopefully it's not going to do anything bad for my skin this is very liquidy and maybe it's good because I've been liking the liquidy foundation from Catrice that it's my holy grail now. This smells mm, not very nice, but okay. I'm going to take some on the let's see. I'm kind of nervous. I love trying new foundations. Oh the shade looks very nice. <laughs> The closest to my skin that I've ever had. Skin tone. Oh, this looks very nice. The coverage is very, very nice. Look at the coverage, guys. This is unbelievable. So light foundation, but such a nice coverage. Kind of reminds me of the Catrice foundation. This one do feels not oily, but like it has some... Oh my God. God, how beautiful this looks. Uh, the sponge is hard, but it's doing a good job. So it's not the best sponge, but I don't hate it. I mean, it's really spreading the foundation, blending it very nice. And this foundation kind of sinks into my skin. It doesn't see, and it doesn't feel like it's sitting on top of my skin, on my face, you know. But my nose, that's something weird on top here. I can't make any foundation work it looks patchy but it doesn't have any to do with foundations or primers because this it does with does that with every single foundation or primer who oh, i really like this looks like my skin but better my lips are dry so i'm going to fast go in with a lip balm and save my lips i'm going to go in bite that i got from my friend valerie Throw up the packaging. Mm. So thick, but it's the best lip balm ever. Lip savior. This is nice. This is really, 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 really nice. I love this foundation so far. Let's see how it's going to be and stay on my oily face. I'm going to use a concealer that I just got and it's the elf concealer I'm just going to tr find it it's the elf hydrating camo concealer satin finish so I'm going to use that for my under eyes this is a little bit bright Br brighter than I go for otherwise but I'm going to blend it and browse my skin so okay this is it's not this this sponge is not so comfortable under the eyes I have to be honest and it's kind of hard to squeeze it and come really close uh, it's a challenge but I made it work the blender nice I'm going to go in with powder and I'm going to go with Lynn, uh, Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and I'm going to set my under eyes These couple of weeks, I've been setting my uh, my under eyes with a powder, different types of powders. Sometimes I use Huda Beauty, sometimes Laura Mercier, sometimes the Revolution powder. But every time um, I baked or um, set my concealer, I go in with this Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish at the end, all over the face, and I've been really liking the results. It kind of makes the face smoother. Everything looks much better. And I've been really liking this. Just to dust, dust away the excess powder, but also make everything more smooth and healthy looking. Yeah, I like that. I like matte looks, so I'm not all of the glow thing. 
my old after hours come through and it looks nice. Okay, I'm going to use this Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer. This is the in a darker shade, medium deep. This I got from my friend Valerie and I've been really liking it. So I'm going to take this on a smaller brush and work it all over my face. And I'm going to go in slowly and build it up. I'm kind of considering buying the full size of this because it's not like I need a bronzer because I have plenty of bronzers, but I've been liking this, this one a lot. This darker shade looks more like cool on my face. So I am going to warm it up a little bit and use this cheerleader from uh, Benefit. And I'm going to go with the Hula bronzer just a little bit to, I don't know, blend bronzers. I like doing that mix. I got a new blush from my sister. I also got this collection, Happy Birthday Tartlet, I think it's called. And in here I have a mascara, travel size mascara, and I also have a blush. And I've been so happy to get this blush because I haven't tried the blushes from Tarte. And this is such a beautiful shade. I think it's called, a quirkly, I can't pronounce this. That's the name of the shade, and I'm going to go in with this. I'm just going to find a brush, blush brush. Oh, such a beautiful shade! Look at that, healthy looking. Maybe not the best blush color for the eyes, but who cares? It's my birthday and I can have whatever I want. Like that a lot. I'm going to go in with my brows and I am going to use my new pen that I got from my friend Valerie. It's the e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil and this is in shade um, Natural Brown. I've been really enjoying this pen. It's fast and I don't like spending a lot of time with my eyebrows because I really like my eyebrows. I just want to fill them in. And today I'm going to also use the soap brow too. Of course, we need to use that. I'm going to use some setting spray or fix plus. Go in and fix the eyebrows. I really understand why people like this product. It's really, really good. Love that. Okay, so what do we need? We need to finish the makeup look. Of course, we need to finish the makeup look and make everything look nice and soft and smooth. So I'm going to go with my favorite brush for under eyes. This is Morphe and Jaclyn Hill number 42. I love this brush for under eyes. And I'm going to go in with this, uh, let's open it, <laughs> palette again, <laughs> can't open it. Okay, here we go. Mm, what do I'm going to go in with E4, this one all over the under eye, very close to my eyelash, lower lash line. But I also want to go in with B5, this color too, and mix it, go on top. Yeah, that's nice. That's really, really nice. Going to take a fluffier brush and go into actually this D1 shade here. Uh, this one, this one, this shade. Then I am going to go into Kaya Cosmetics Highlighter. Going to take this small, small brush and go in and kind of, you know,
it goes very nice with these shades Good to take my fingers and can uh, apply the highlighter here. Love this highlighter. Tip of the nose. Okay, that's pretty. Hmm. What do we need to do more? The lips. Of course we need to do the lips. I do have new lip liners, not the ones that I got for my birthday, but I am going to do another video with those. So I'm not going to use them today. I am going to use the Essence Soft Contour in Big Proposal shade all over my lips because we do have this Tarte lip gloss, lip paint. That I'm going to try in shade cinnamon. Pretty shade. So let's go in with the lip gloss or lip paint. Mm, oh. oh my god, it smells like Christmas cookies. Love it. Oh wow. It smells cinnamon and apple. Apple pie. It smells like apple pie. Mm. Love, love this. Love this. Okay, I'm going to set everything. I'm going to use a little bit of Fix Plus. And then I'm going to go in with my Huda Beauty setting spray. Love that. Mascara. We have mascara left. And the one mascara that I've been loving, loving, it's the Huda Beauty. This one makes my eyelashes look like a dream. It's the best I've ever tried. But, but today I am going to try the light camera lights, the Tarte one. And I do have it in a bigger size, but it's this packaging. But I am going to save this because I want to try the smaller size and use it up first. Uh, so I don't open full size of mascaras because I already have a, a Huda Beauty one opened. I heard very nice th things about this brush, a uh, brush, mascara. It's building up very nice. So this is the one coat, and it's look very. It looks very nice. It looks very natural, but also very healthy lashes. I'm going to do the other eye. So guys, this is the final look. I really like how everything turned out. My face looks very smooth, very beautiful. My hair looks like a mess, but I am going to go and fix it now. I need to brush out everything and fix my curls again, but. I just wanted to end this video here and tell you guys that I really enjoy every product that I've used today and thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell and I see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye!